I need your help. This right here is the S3 Chrome 460, an unreleased graphics card that never made it into production for reasons currently unknown. And well, the issue is, first of all, it's very clearly not fully functional. And I did get the device ID from it at the very least. But the issue is that after this information was collected, despite running at idle, it popped its MOSFET, died to a short and short, save for a momentary time when it sprung back to life all of a sudden. It's been dead ever since. And I will admit that the cooling solution was a little bit jank on the first time. But this was in a BTX system where the heatsink was able to sit on top of the card instead of dangling off the bottom. So it was still making good contact with the die the entire time. As well as having a case fan pointed at it, like I often do. And yeah, as you can see in this video, I shortly changed it to an official S3 graphics cooler. And this video was recorded after I replaced a MOSFET, as you can see up here. And just to summarize the video so that then I don't force you to watch a second video inside this video. After I replaced the MOSFET and put the new cooler on, it did turn on again for a bit. But then, I think if I remember correctly, shortly before it entered Windows, it once again popped one of the MOSFETs. You can kind of see a damaged corner in, right there. And it stopped working again. Now, let's see here. I have a better image here. You can tell that I had horrendous soldering skills back then. I am better at it now, but... This does work because these pins were internally connected on the MOSFET anyway. <laughs> anyway, yeah, this was when I was continuing to replace them. I was also terrible, as you can see, at desoldering. Look at all those broken legs. And I'm marginally getting better here. But the card remained dead throughout this entire process. These are brand new ones that I installed after I got a whole pack of them in this okay, video Okay, so... So, yeah, you can see the pack of brand new MOSFETs. I made sure that they were the same model number right here. And I tried installing them. It, unfortunately, still did not work. And also, I will mention that... Going back to here, this is the very first picture that I took of it before it ever did any testing or died to a short and these resistors was already like this when they arrived and it looks like they might have been purposely soldered to the side like this to act as some sort of configuration. So yeah I sent off the Chrome 460 alongside a number of dies to DOS Dude 1. Originally with the hope that maybe it was just a dead core and that he could just swap the core die right here with one of the other ones that I had to get the card working again. But it seems like there's a deeper rooted issue somewhere because... He told me that after swapping the die, the card is still registering a short from V core to ground. And if I remember correctly, the resistance from V core to ground is like around 0 0.3 ohms on every single die that I've tested after he gave me a extremely partial pinout. 
of things. Let me see. I thought I had a picture here of... Oh, here it is. Yeah. So yeah, he was able to, after desoldering the core, trace back where V core and ground were. And using that, I was able to test the remaining dies that I had. And he tested the dies that I sent him. And every single one of them seems to register around 0.3 ohms. Well, 0.5 ohms or less, if I remember correctly. With the exception of the original die that was on the card that I initially thought might have short-circuited for some reason. Because that original die reads, I think, 1.2 ohms from V-Core to ground. Either way, we're both very clueless at this point of what's even going on. And... I'm honestly not sure if the Chrome 460 will ever work again, so this is where me asking for help comes in. I've got no idea what else that I can do, but by chance if any of you guys, my subscribers, all about nine, not nine. 1,995 of you as of the time of this recording. If any of you are or know someone that worked at S3 Graphics that is familiar with the Chrome 460, if you have any information that you can provide, like <clears throat> data sheets, this is a long shot, but potentially schematics, but even just a data sheet for the 460 itself would be very nice to have. <coughs> just anything really. Then I would love to just get your help with this. Because even though uh, S3 graphics is long dead and gone, this is the graphics company that... I grew up with. My first computer had a S3 Verge in it, and the Chrome 460 was pretty much the company's last gasp before it was acquired by HTC. So, yeah, that's it for now, I guess. And if you have any information, feel free to contact me either through email or on my Discord server, link in the description. And yeah, hopefully we can get this janky mid-range card to work again. Or at least work a bowl again. Cause yeah, I'd really like to see what an alternate world where S3 re-entered the mid-range graphics market could have been like. Alright, thanks for watching, and until next time, I'm out. Bye.